Hi friends, in this video we are solving problems on differential equation. You see, the first problem is consider the differential equation dy by dx plus y is equal to e to the power of x with y of 0 is equal to 1. Then the value of y of 1 is, they are given 4 options here, e plus e dash means e inverse. A option A is e plus e inverse, option B is e minus e inverse by 2. Option C is E plus E inverse by 2 and option D is 2 times of E minus E inverse. Now, coming to the second problem. Here you observe the solution of a differential equation dy by dx plus y by x is equal to x with the conditions y is equal to 1 at x is equal to 1. Meaning is y of 1 is equal to 1 is they are given 4 options. Friends, you see these two are similar problems only. You observe this is in the form of dy by dx plus p of x into y is equal to q of x form. This is also dy by dx plus p of x into y is equal to q of x form. So, here you, we have a two problems. Friends, these two are, they are given a, in the gate entrance exam. This is gate 2010 and this is a gate 2011 exam. Okay. Now, I will solve the second problem. You try to solve the first problem. You can solve based on this method. Right. Given problem is dy by dx plus y by x is equal to x with the conditions y of 1 is equal to 1. Okay. Now, this is in the form of dy by dx plus p of x into y is equal to q of x. So, it is a linear differential equation with a linear differential equation of first order and first degree. See, this is a dy by dx. So, first order and the degree of dy by dx is also 1. So, you can say first order, first degree. So, the general solution is containing one arbitrary constant. So, we have to eliminate that arbitrary constant by using this condition. Okay. Now, now how to solve this one? We have to, this linear differential equation which is non-exact differential equation. So, what we have to do? We have to get the general solution. For that, we have to multiply integrating factor. How you can find out integrating factor means for this, you have integrating factor is equal to e to the power of integral of p of x dx. So, e to the power of integral of, what is the p of x is here? You see, we have dy by dx plus 1 by x into y is equal to x. So, this is y coefficient is p of x. You see, y coefficient is p of x. So, what is the p of x now? 1 by x. So, 1 by x into dx. Now, e to the power of, now denominator x, this is uh, containing, integrand is containing 1 by x. So, numerator and denominator is containing the denominator derivative in the numerator so log of denominator okay now e to the power of this is you see e to the power of log x you have e to the power of log x. so e and uh, log getting cancelled then you will have integrating factor is x now what is the general solution for this we have the general solution is y into integrating factor is equal to integral of q of x into integrating factor dx plus c. This is the general solution. Right. Now, to get the general solution, what is the integrating factor here you have? x. So, y into x is equal to integral of q of x. What is the q of x? Right side part what I have? x. So, x into integrating factor is x dx plus c. So, this is x into y is equal to integral of x square dx plus c. Now, x y into x square integration is x cube by 3 plus a C. Now, you see, this is the general solution of the given linear differential equation of first order and first degree. So, it is having one arbitrary constant, but they are given a condition. What condition they are given? Y of 1 is equal to 1. By using this, we have to simplify the given linear differential equation. So, this condition is called uh, initial condition. Now, this condi from this, we have to eliminate uh, this arbitrary constant. The meaning is here, when means at x is equal to 1, y value is equal to 1. You substitute here, see here x is there, y is there. x value, y value you are substituting. And what is the remaining value? c. So, you will get a c value. Okay. Now, after getting the c value, we have to substitute in this. Then we will get the particular value, particular solution. See friends, this is the general solution. General solution means for any x comma y. But this is particularly at x is equal to 1 only. Particularly at x is equal to 1, y is equal to 1 only we are doing. Okay. So, this after getting the solution is called a particular solution. Now, put x is equal to 1, y is equal to 1, then 1 into 1 is 1, 
is equal to 1 by 3 plus C. Therefore, C is equal to 1 minus 1 by 3. So, C is equal to 2 by 3. Now, substitute C value in the above general solution. Then, we will get the particular solution. That is, x y is equal to x cube by 3 plus 2 by 3. So, this is called a particular solution. Okay. What is the option? You check it now. This is x y plus, sorry, x y is equal to x cube by 3 plus 2 by 3. But here the options are only y is equal they are given. But what we got here previously, x y is equal to x cube by 3 plus 2 by 3. Now rearrange here, we want only y value. So take this uh, x is right side, then uh, we will have y is equal to x cube by 3 by x, nothing but x square by 3 plus 2 by 3 into 1 by x, nothing but 2 by 3x. Check it here, option A, no, option B, wrong, option C, wrong, option D, y is equal to x square by 3 plus 2 by 3x. So, which is the correct option now? Option D. Is it clear for everyone? Now, will you solve this problem? The first problem, what I give? I will check it, how many members will answer, right? Friends, this is gate problem. Friends, after getting the solution of uh, first one, you write down in the comment box, either A, B, C, D, okay? How many members will answer? I will check it. Thank you for watching this video.